Hi Fresno Unified students, welcome to week two. Like last week, I will be reviewing clef, key signature, and time signature. I will also be reviewing notes and rhythms. I'm going to use the same procedure as last week. I do, we do, you do. That means I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to give you a chance to practice. Then we're going to do it together. And then you're going to do it on your own. And we're going to do that for each exercise. Hi, advanced cello players. We're going to start week two off with exercise one. Quick review. This is bass clef. What clef is it? Bass clef. And cello is in the bass clef. We have two sharps in the key signature. When we have two sharps in the key signature, all Fs and Cs are sharp. Which notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. One more time. When there's two sharps in the key signature, which notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. Now we're going to move on to the time signature. We're in 4-4 four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in a measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Before we start rhythms this week, I want to teach you two new concepts. First is dynamics. Everybody say dynamics. One more time. Say dynamics. Dynamics tell you how loud or soft to play. What do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. One more time. What do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. This dynamic here is an F. It stands for forte. Everybody say forte. One more time. Say forte. Forte means to play loud. Ladies and gentlemen, what does forte mean to do? It means to play loud. What does forte mean to do? Play loud. Our dynamic over here is mezzo piano. Mezzo piano means to play medium soft. What does mezzo piano mean to do? Play medium soft. One more time. What does mezzo piano mean to do? Play medium soft. So we're going here from forte to mezzo piano. Next thing I'm going to teach you is dotted half notes. Everybody say dotted half notes. Dotted half notes, ladies and gentlemen, are three beats. How many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. One more time. How many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. Everybody, please listen. One, two, three. Your turn. Again, listen. One, two, three. Your turn. So dotted half notes are three beats. How many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. Now we're going to go to eighth notes. This is what eighth notes look like. There's a beam under here. Notice how you don't have those in half notes or quarter notes. These are beams and they're for eighth notes. So, please listen. T, 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 T. Try that. One more time, listen. T, 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 T. Your turn. Now instead of saying T, 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 please listen, we're gonna go. One and two and three and four and. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. Again, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. You just clapped and counted eight eighth notes. Now I want to add some quarter notes in there. Please listen. One and two, three and four. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. Again, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. One and two. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. One and two. Again, two, three, four. One and two. What you just clapped and counted was this. Two eighth notes, one and, and a quarter note, two. One and two. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, four. One and two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. Four and one, two. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. Four and one, two. Let's try it together when I count to three. When I count to three, you're going to go, listen. One, two, three. Four and one, two. Get ready? When I count to three. One, two, three. Four and one, two. Again, two, three. Four and one, two. So you just clapped and counted this. The eighth notes were on beat four. So this is beat four. This is the end of four. Four and and then the half note, one, two. So I went one, two, three, four and one, two. Same thing down here. Rest, two, three, four and one, two. So anytime you see two eighth notes and a half note, that's what it sounds like. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to clap and count the rhythm, but first I'm going to go over it for you. So we have four quarter notes here, two eighth notes, 
two quarter notes, a quarter rest, which is one silent beat. What is a quarter rest? One silent beat, good. Then we have a half note, a quarter note, two eighth notes, a half note, and a quarter note. Then we have a rest, a quarter rest. Then we go to the second line, we go to mezzo piano. We have four quarter notes, a dotted half note, which is three beats. How many beats is a dotted half note? Three beats. And then a quarter note. Then we have a quarter rest here, then two quarter notes, two eighth notes, and a half note. Then we have a half rest. Half rest are two silent beats. What are half rests? Two silent beats. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to clap and count exercise one. Please listen. One, two, three, four, one, and two, three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, and one, two. Please practice on your own. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, and one, two. Now, why did I get softer? Because my dynamics went from forte to mezzo piano. Please try that on your own. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the notes. So we have a quarter note A, a quarter note A, a quarter note B, a quarter note C sharp, then an eighth note D, an eighth note F sharp, quarter note E, a quarter note D, and then a quarter rest. Then we have a half note E, a quarter note G, eighth note F sharp, an eighth note G, a half note A, a quarter note A, and then a quarter rest. Then we move down to the second line, which is mezzo piano. We have a quarter note F sharp. Quarter note D, quarter note D, a quarter note E. Then we have a dotted half note F sharp. Then a quarter note E, then a quarter rest. Quarter note G, a quarter note A. Eighth note B, eighth note C sharp, and a half note D. Then a half rest, which is two silent beats. I'm now going to say the notes within the rhythm of the song, and I want you to listen. I'm going to start at forte. A, A, B, C sharp. D, F sharp, E, D, E, G, F sharp, G, A, A, F sharp, D, D, E, F sharp, E, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E. Please practice that on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's try it together. We're going to start here. When I count to four, on a forte, then we're going to go to mezzo piano down here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. A, A, B, C sharp, D, F sharp, E, D. E, G, F sharp, G, A, A. F sharp, D, D, E, F sharp, E, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And please practice that on your own. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to move on to exercise two. So exercise two, we start at piano and we go to forte. Then we go from piano to forte. Piano means to play soft. Forte means to play loud. Now let's look at the rhythm for exercise two. 
we have a half note D, a quarter note D, a quarter note C sharp, a quarter note B, and a quarter rest. Then we have a quarter note A, a quarter note G, a quarter note F sharp, an eighth note F sharp, an eighth note E, a quarter note D, then we have a quarter rest, then we have a quarter note D, an eighth note C sharp, an eighth note B, and a half note A. Then we go to the second line, which is a forte. We have a quarter note B, a quarter note C sharp, and a half note D. Then we have a quarter note E, an eighth note G, an eighth note F sharp, and a half note E. Then we have a quarter note D, a quarter note C sharp, a quarter note B, a quarter note C sharp, and a whole note D. Remember, whole notes are four beats. How many beats are whole notes? Four beats. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say the notes within the rhythm of the song. Please listen. B, D, C sharp, B. A, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D. D, C sharp, B, A. B, C sharp, D. E, G, F sharp, E. D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D. Please practice that on your own. All right, now let's try it together, starting here. One, two, three, four. D, D, C sharp, B. A, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, D. D, C sharp, B, A. B, C sharp, D. E, G, F sharp, E. D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please try that on your own. And we are now ready to go to exercise three. Exercise three, we still have bass clef, we still have two sharps. When there's two sharps, which notes are sharp? All Fs and Cs are sharp. We're in our 4-4 uh, four, four time. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Okay, we're at mezzo forte, and then we're going to go to mezzo piano. This is tricky because mezzo forte and mezzo piano are very similar. I'm now going to go over the rhythms. We have a half note here, two quarter notes, two eighth notes, a quarter note, another quarter note, and a quarter rest. Then we have a half note, then a quarter note, then a quarter rest, two half notes. Then we go to the bottom line, which is mezzo piano. We have a quarter note B, we have a, we have a quarter note, another quarter note, two more quarter notes, two eighth notes, a quarter note, then a half note. Then we have two eighth notes, three quarter notes, three more quarter notes, and a quarter rest. I am now going to clap and count the rhythm. The top line is going to be a mezzo forte. The bottom line is going to be a mezzo piano. Medium loud, medium soft. Please listen. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four, one, two, three. Please practice that on your own. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one and two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two, three, one and two, three, four, one, two, three. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please try that on your own. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to say the notes. So over here, we have a half note D, a quarter note E, a quarter note D, 
eighth note C sharp, eighth note B, two quarter note Ds, and a quarter rest. Then we have a half note F sharp, a quarter note E, a quarter rest, a half note E, a half note D. Then we go down to the second line. We have a quarter note B, a quarter note A, two quarter note Bs, an eighth note C sharp, an eighth note D, a quarter note E, a half note F sharp. Then we have a eighth note F sharp, an eighth note G, two quarter note A's, a quarter note B, a quarter note C sharp, and two quarter note D's. Now I'm going to say the notes within the rhythm of the song. Please listen. D, E, D, C sharp, B, D, D, F sharp, E, E, D, B, A, B, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, B, C sharp, D, D. Please practice that on your own. All right, let's try that together, starting here. When I count to four, one, two, three, four. D, E, D, C sharp, B, D, D, F sharp, E, E, D, B, A, B, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, A, A, B, C sharp, D, D. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please try that on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now going to hear what this sounds like. Unfortunately, we don't have a cello, so you're going to hear it on the violin, but you'll still hear what the notes sound like. Hey, advanced cellos, welcome to week two. We're going to start here with some of our new notes. I am modeling them on a violin because that's what we own in the Dunlop house. Uh, however, it'll sound like a cello, just a lot higher. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I model it as if this were a cello. That means we're going to ignore that fourth tape here on the violin and treat this as if this is our first finger, our third finger, and our fourth finger. So some of our new notes that we need to be mindful of is we need to be mindful of low A on the G string. So there is your G string. Low A is gonna be one on the G string. Uh, we also have low B. That's gonna be three on your G string. So make sure you push your three down. We also have low C sharp. That's a new note. We have to make sure that we are mindful of our key signature and that is a low C sharp and a low C. What that means is normally you'd put your, just your fourth finger down for C, but because it's C sharp, we have to go a little bit higher. Going higher means we have to extend to that, to that C sharp right there. You have to extend your fourth finger up. So that's how we get to low C sharp. Those are our only new notes this week. Make sure you observe our dynamic levels. They are forte, mezzo piano, piano, forte, mezzo forte, and a mezzo piano. I will do my best to observe them, but I might play a little bit louder than intended so that the camera can pick up my sound. Exercise one. <laughs> Exercise three. 